because I think they're clearly we've seen this response and craving of authenticity. Yeah, I mean, I think whenever there's a story that um, either in terms of loving the retail aspect of it, so I don't know mm -hmm. that that's necessarily going to change. But you know, I know how many military figures or CEOs I've spoken to who are Republican who would say, yeah, she's going to get the nomination. Yeah, I, I would and you, ha, what about Bernie did. Sanders? I mean, clearly, he is resonating among some yeah. talk about since you brought yeah. him up, and yeah. it's hard to avoid him. Uh, Donald Trump and now Ben Carson is yeah. nipping at his heels. Two very unconventional candidates. Um, so give me your assess. I mean, he makes a phone call. Yeah. You know, I, I just feel like there's such a free feeding frenzy about him. And I'm just wondering yeah. all those things. But is just, there some responsibility in 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 the amount of coverage yeah. he's given? I think your question of what kind of oh, yeah. president, I mean, what think, kind of leader he would be. I think there's an interest be. in sort of covering the phenomenon of Trump. Right. Sit down and have a conversation. And we were scheduled to do it, but then he canceled at the last minute. So hopefully yeah. I'll have an opportunity sure, to explore sure some of those areas with yeah. him because I'm interested in hearing what he has to say, how he thinks about things, his philosophy. Right. You know. But, you know, the Republican Party is. You know, <laughs> um, I think he hopes it's endearing. Yeah. But he doesn't seem as comfortable in his own skin, which I think is yeah. one of the things that. Which, we, right, which can is almost become kind of trite. But what it really is. is push have to do in the debate. Well, think, I to, think I think what they need to do. Says they should. Right. In this America, <laughs> she said, right, I would be right, right. taking him much more seriously. Right. And that's and so I think they'll do that. And I think, you know, not Teflon in that way so far. So I far. Mean, he's, he yeah. said that probably for a lot of people might have been slightly yeah. worrisome, and yet it didn't seem to affect him. I talked to a big business leader, and that's an important threshold, touch, which is do you trust this person temperamentally to make this? Because um, there's so much oxygen that's being sucked up by Donald Trump. Talking what do you think is going on with Ben Carson? Why do you think he's appealing? You know, I think he's, again, he's unconventional. Like, Hispanic folks. And it's critical, and, you know. And, and and right. Romney told me that was the biggest mistake. And, and, so they're trying to figure him, and they're also in the real battle about what America involved on the Republican side. So if President Bush asked you that question today in the Oval Office, yeah. he said, David, or Stretch, which is what, <laughs> he, what he called you, how's your, you should ask President Bush to do an interview with you. I think it would be a really interesting conversation. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've always and my invitation to President Bush <laughs> and say I would like you, you to, to talk me. to David okay, instead. Yeah, to and but, oh. when, but when it comes to the future, I mean, as do you know where you're going to? Yeah. I'm not going to ask you if you like the things that life is showing you. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going yes, to? Yes, I do. do you know? I, look, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm circumstances. Well, it's so nice to talk to you. I mean, seriously, we've been talking for almost wow. an hour. <laughs> I found it fascinating. I hope people at home yeah. <laughs> watching this found it interesting too. It's really, yeah. really wonderful. I mean, it's sort of, which right. is sort of nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's great. So but thank thanks, you, David, Katie. for coming by. Osteen talked about on Facebook today, yeah, which very, is a nice endorsement. You know, it was three years uh, when I was number one. That was a very dent to, I mean, Tim was really a god. That was a very difficult thing taken suddenly and, and then you had to fill his shoes, which yeah. I'm sure you were extremely trepidatious about. I mean, how could you not be? Right. I was, and, and I, you're right. I mean, I, I'm, I'm careful because Part of your faith journey, you mm -hmm. know, is sort of let that cloud your sort of overall view of things. Having said that, I mean, I, I think that why do you think these networks and maybe organizations in general have such a difficult time making transitions or deciding they're going to make a change and doing it with some kind of grace? Why, why is that so hard? Because the way it oh, went yeah. going on behind the scenes that it couldn't have been handled in a more graceful way. I was on the phone and um, I was saying things like, look, I'm, you know, kind of bloodied, but I'm still standing and I'll get past this. And she's sitting there. But imagine if you were standing on a balcony looking over the maze, you would see the path, right? So establish the path of your feet and all your ways. Well, Made me get emotional. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, well I this is really you know. deep, deep stuff that you've been exploring, you know, and it's sometimes a little. And it's very, um, you know, said, she said, it's one thing to have. No, I was pretty <laughs> family. But he said to me, he said, I don't know people who experience it and, and lots of people experience it in, in their own ways. That was so, and, and we pulled a couple clips and.